Hi there. I am going to take a couple minutes to show you how to create an awesome podcast element in your email using Aweber's amazing new drag and drop editor. Um, so, but before we do that, let me talk to you about why you might want to do this. A lot of the podcasts where I subscribe to their email lists, they're frequently just sharing uh, a square thumbnail of a podcast or, um, or just a text link to a podcast episode. When you see something like a video in an email, you're seeing something that's much more akin to what you would see uh, with an embedded video on the web. And the concept that they're using is creating an affordance. An affordance is something that offers a clue as to what an element might mean or do. I'm gonna create something that looks similar to a podcast listing in a podcast app. And it's really easy, really fast. So here I have my template up. I'm going to use row and column creation. This is the uh, basis of all the cool stuff that we're gonna be doing here. So I need to create a new row. I'll do that. Now I want this to be uh, two or three columns. Uh, let's just say uh, two columns for the time being, one for my thumbnail and then one for all of the associated information. So I'm gonna split this in half. Then I'm gonna pull an image in Go to my image gallery, and I already have my uh, podcast artwork in here, so I'm just gonna select that. You can really easily drag and drop into that upload, or into the gallery to upload an image of your own. And uh, let me resize this. I, I'll play with this later, but uh, let's, let's go for a height of like 120. Now, I don't want this to be a straight split, so uh, I'm gonna drag this over till I'm happy with it. Next up, I'm gonna pull in a paragraph element. This is how I put text in here. I'm gonna put in, uh, would you rather episode one, just for the sake of argument. And, uh, and I want this to be bigger, so I'm gonna go up here and customize the text, make this 18 or so. And then I could link this if I want to. I, I do want to, <laughs> I wanna link this and the image. For the time being, I'm just gonna link it to uh, my landing page, would you rather not fun? So I have my linked episode name, and now I'm going to replicate some of the meta that you might see with a podcast. Um, so I'll do like a little uh, description. This one will be, let's see, a really fun one. Then I'm just kind of for additional flavor and to give more of that feel of this being uh, an affordance to feel like a podcast player. I'm gonna throw in a pipe and then how long the episode is. In this case, 17 minutes. I wanna differentiate between these two pieces of text. So I'm gonna highlight uh, my meta information and uh, what do I wanna do? Maybe I'll italicize it and I'll make it slightly smaller. Oh, italicizing the whole thing looks crazy. So I'll just italicize the time. But we have something pretty cool here so far. Let me preview it. It looks kind of cool, but it looks a little clunky. So uh, there are some things I need to do. One is I want to have the um, content centered vertically in the row. And that's what these controls here do. They allow me to set how is content aligned vertically. I'm going to align it to the center. It's looking a little bit better, but this is too tight for me. So what might I do instead? I'm gonna add a new column. So I'm gonna add another column. I'm gonna move this into that column. It's gonna look crazy for just a split second. And now I'm gonna resize and add some additional space. So now let me check that out. It's looking a lot better. Now, if I, I wanted to, I could play with this ad infinitum but uh, let me pull this down to maybe 80 pixels. That feels a little bit better. Uh, eyeball that padding a little bit. There, that's feeling way better. Um, I, and now I can add all sorts of additional information. So if I wanted to have uh, links to it on iTunes, uh, Google, Stitcher, I could add whatever these are. If I wanted a direct link to the MP3 version of this, and 
I can, I'll just leave this as the same height as the uh, uh, text above for the time being, but I can do whatever customizations I want here, include my links to um, the episodes on a specific provider. And then uh, at the end of it, I have a nice little podcast element that looks and feels like a user would expect a podcast to look and feel. Now there's all sorts of other stuff that I could get into to make this uh, email really make me happy. Like I'd wanna add some space between the podcast player and my signature, but I'll save that for another video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to uh, uh, me. I'm at ClickPop on Twitter or uh, reach out to Aweber directly. The people here have way better ideas than I ever have, uh, but this is a fun one. Good luck, happy podcasting. Uh, I can't wait to see what you create.